initial information. Okay, like example 4.10, 14.10. All right, so now we're going to use equilibrium constants to find equilibrium concentrations, but we're going to be given some information about the initial concentrations. All right. So first things first. Consider the reaction. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we have to consider the equilibrium reaction between N2O4 and NO2. We considered it this morning. We worked on that with that in the lab. Brown, yes. No. 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 <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got here and what we're looking for. All right. So we've got this equilibrium constant at 100 degrees. The reaction mixture at 100 degrees Celsius, so that's so the same, we can use that equilibrium constant, initially contains NO2 equal to 0.1 molar, initially. We want to find the equilibrium concentrations of both NO2 and N2O4. So whenever you see that initial concentrations and equilibrium concentrations, the line thing, yes, the ice table, yeah, ice table. ice table. Okay, so as soon as you see initial and equilibrium, you know what should be playing in the back of your head. Dun <laughs> ice, ice baby. Yes, good. All right. All right, so let's write that. Let's write our equation, then we'll set up our ice table. So we got N2O4 in equilibrium with 2NO2. <clears throat> All right, so our ice table is, of course, I for initial concentrations, C for change, and E for equilibrium concentrations. All right, and what do we got? Initial concentrated NO2 0.1. Okay, so that's our product, but that's okay. That's a reactant for our reverse reaction, right? And what else we got? Not much, huh? That's not a lot. But it's enough. Okay. This one, we're actually. Question? Okay, so good question. So how, how do I know we're going to put that point 0.1 on the initial line for NO2? Well, it tells us that the reaction initially, mm -hmm. so you know that's the initial concentration, and that's for NO2, so I got to put it for NO2. Okay. All right. So we're going to be looking for the rest of this information, okay. but what's different about the previous examples we've done is that we didn't have the equilibrium constant. That's what we were solving for. We were solving for K. This time we have it. It's right there, 0.36, all right? And so we could uh, write out the equilibrium constant expression, kind of went over that, so it would be NO2 squared all over N2O4. Since we're not solving for K, we could solve for something associated with the equilibrium concentrations. Okay, And what you're going to do is you're going to put the thing you're solving for, the variable, in the change line. Okay, So first, Let's think about the initial concentration for NO2, all right? So we don't have it in the problem, but we do know it, okay? So initially, think about this. We, put it, we got our flask. We put some NO2 in it. Put a stopper on it. It's in gas phase. You don't want to lose any, okay? And then that's it. That's what we did initially. So initial means T equals zero, nothing's happened yet. 
So what is our concentration of N2O4? Zero. zero. It would be zero. Okay? We haven't made N2, N2O4. Just like yesterday, it was all on the product side, so it made a little bit more sense. But this time we're starting with NO2. That's okay, because that's the reactant in my reverse reaction. So, um, but initially, that means we don't have any N2O4. Okay, so now reaction starts. Things start to happen. What's going to happen to the concentration of N2O4 as a function of time? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? N2O4, it's going to go up, right? What's going to happen to my concentration of NO2 once it starts reacting? It's going to go down. So we know it's plus or minus. Okay? We don't know how much, but we can solve for it. That's what we're going to solve for. And so usually when we have variables, we say, okay, is this going to go up? We don't know how much, so let's just put in x plus x. Right. Once you put one variable in, you can figure out the rest uh, based on the stoichiometry, right? So if N2O4 is going to go up by x, how much is NO2 going to go down by? 2x, good. Because for every one mole of N2O4 I make, I need two moles of NO2. Would that have been better if I highlighted it? I'll highlight it. I'm not using the highlighter enough. I think I should. Adds a little pizzazz. So for every one mole of N2O4, I need two moles of NO2. Doesn't that just make it pop a little bit better? It's just a green two now, but it's highlighted green. That is cool how that changed the color. All right. Then we're just going to do a little bit of math. What is zero plus x? X, x yeah, that's just x. What's 0 0.1 minus 2x? 0 0.1 minus, minus 2x. All right, so just add those up, subtract them, whatever you need to do. Now I've got my equilibrium line. I'm going to place it in my equilibrium constant, just like I did yesterday. But now instead of solving for k, I'm going to solve for x. Because I know k right there. I should probably highlight that too, just in case we need it. Ooh. I'm just becoming a dynamo on this thing. I'm highlighting. I'm flipping. Wow, that's cool. Edward. Yes, we will. Yeah, we'll plug that in. Mm -hmm. That's why I highlighted it. Oh, I said I, we will. I, I, met, oh, I may have misspoke. We will definitely need it. All right, so let's throw in these uh, values. Okay, so we got K equals. I didn't want to do that. Okay, k equals NO2 is 0 0.100 minus 2x squared all over x. And now the real fun begins. Got a little bit of algebra to do. Algebra. Okay. So uh, we've got this. What am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to factor it. So let's, let's spread it out or write it out like this. 0 0.100 0 .0 minus 2x all of times 0 0.100 0 .0 minus 2x all over x. So now I got K equals, all right, so what was the acronym uh, for how to uh, factor these two? Foil. Foil? Yes, foil. Good old foil. I thought when you were learning about foil, there's, I'm never going to need this again. Foil, back to save the day. So what did F stand for? First. So 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.01. O. Outer, 
0.1 times a negative 2x so with negative minus 0.2x. I inner minus 2x and a 0.1, so it's going to be another minus 0.2x. And L, last. Minus 2x times a minus 2x is? Plus 4x squared, good. That's still all over x. And so that, of course, was brought to you by FOIL. All right, so we're going to have to clean this up a little bit to solve for it. But anytime I have a function with an x squared and an x, what am I going to have to use to solve for x? Quadratic equation. All right, so far we've got k equals, I forget, 0.01 minus 0 0.2x minus 0.2x plus 4x squared all over x. Okay, so that's where we're at before I started talking about it. Okay, so, wait, let's just test your th Edwards theory too. Okay, so if I zoom in, all right, so uh, let's multiply both sides by x. So I get x times k, x, and then that will cancel out. And then, like Christian said, let's uh, add the point two x's. So now I got x times k, which we know, so we can throw that number in any time. Um, actually, let's just do that now. So what's uh, k? 0 0.36? 0 0.36. So that's going to be 0 0.36x equals, uh, then I'll rearrange this to say 4x squared minus 0.4x plus 0 0.0100. For the quadratic formula, what do I need to set it to? The function. Zero. got to set it to zero. So let's add 0.36x to both sides. So we get 0 equals 4x squared minus 0 0.76 after I subtract the 0.36x. Everybody see that? Plus 0 0.100. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right, <coughs> excuse me. What is the quadratic formula? X equals B, negative B, plus or minus? Four B squared minus 4AC all over 2A, all right. Got some quadratic formula pros in the house. All right, so I rearranged it like that because we know that the x squared will be a, x is b, and then c, right? So then we just plug them in. So a negative, negative 0 0.76 plus or minus the square root b squared, so that's negative 0 0.76 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 0 0.0100, all over 2 times 4. What do you always get with the uh, quadratic formula? Two answers, yeah. So you always get two answers because of the plus and minus. You got to do this whole thing with plus and minus, okay? So I will let you get cracking. One eight. Okay, it's okay. I got point one eight. We like point one eight and point oh one four. Yeah? Alright, so 0.018, that's what we meant. We make we wanted to make sure you were 
<laughs> able to do it. We See, we planned. We talked. We huddled up in the hallway. Okay. All right. So it's, we can make it like that. Never happened too, Naomi. I'll just edit out that. Oh, you got it right away. All right. So these are our X's. We're eventually going to have to. Um, plug them back in, okay? So we got to decide which one to plug back in. We can't have two concentrations at equilibrium, can we? You got to check both, and one of them is going to make sense. One of them won't, okay? All right, so we got 0.18 and 0.014, okay? So let's rewrite that. So 0.18 or 0. 014. Okay, so for N204, this X, see, people watching this video in the future don't know what I'm pointing to. Okay, right here, see, that we know. I'm pointing to X, I'm pointing to X. I just told him. Which X? <laughs> the X that I'm pointing to. All right, so both of those make sense for N204. That's the X that I'm pointing to, okay? It could be 0.18, it could be 0.014, sure. Who knows, who cares? I mean, we care, but who knows? But what happens here? If I take 0.1 and subtract it from 2 times 0.18, what would I get? So 2 times 0.18 would be 0.36. 0.1 minus 0.36, what would that give you? A negative number, negative point something. Can we have a negative concentration? No, no. So that is going to rule out the point 0.18. And that will always uh, happen. One of them will give you uh, positive values for any x you have. One of them will give you negatives. Yes? Yeah, so yeah, since NO2 is going down, it can't be more than 0.18. Yep, exactly. <coughs> okay, so now we actually have to plug in our actual value, 0.014. So our N204 is just X, so that's just going to be 0.014 molar, right? And then our N... O2 is 0 0.100 minus 2 times 0 Maybe I, I can hire an actor, too, to play myself on the video camera. Do we have, a, like, a drama club on North Campus or something like that? We do? Okay, see? We get some student actors. Really bring a performance. I could have a soundtrack. All right, so what do we get? Point... Zero, seven two, seven two molar. All right, so those are my concentrations. 0.014 for N204 and 0.072 for NO2.